and welcome to the December edition of Fintech Monthly. In the final episode of the year, we look at the top 100 fintech companies, have the latest blockchain news and forecasts, and hear Techstar's top fintech trends for 2016. We're filming at Rise London and Magdalena is here to tell us a little bit more. Magdalena, what's this initiative all about? So Rise is a global open innovation community that connects startups and corporates to co-create the future of financial services and beyond. RISE involves Barclays, our strategic partners like Thomson Reuters and Cisco, and startups working together to co-create through our accelerator program, our innovation challenges, hackathons and matchmaking initiatives. Our aim is to, together with startups, identify new fintech innovations and produce prototypes and proof of concepts which could lead to full-scale partnerships and paid contracts. So essentially this could really transform financial services. RISE operates globally through our physical hubs, like the one that we have here in London. We're open in Manchester, uh, New York, Cape Town, and in 2016, we're opening in other cities, including Tel Aviv and Mumbai. The UK has once again come out on top as world leader in fintech. A total of 18 UK companies made this year's KPMG's FinTech 100 in collaboration with H2 Ventures. The ranking was split into two parts, leading FinTech companies and emerging stars, which saw the likes of Go Cardless, Elliptic and Syndicate Room be recognised for their work. 25% of all companies featured were payments focused. Former Executive Director of the Bank of England, Sir David Walker, has joined a blockchain company Settle as Chairman. Settle, which is based in London, operates a payment and settlement infrastructure based on blockchain technology. It uses a public ledger and public-private key technology to facilitate settlement between two parties. Now, spending by financial institutions on blockchain projects is set to exceed $1 billion by 2017, making it one of the fastest developing enterprise software markets of all time. With that in mind, we asked Richard Gould of Rag Lawrence Graham & Co what could be the legal implications of implementing blockchain. Lots of people are talking about blockchain right now, and I think most people at this stage know that it is effectively just a large digital ledger publicly available and currently the main asset that is being used or transferred on the blockchain is Bitcoin. But the interesting thing about blockchain, which is why so many investors are looking at the area, is that it has a huge number of uses. If you just think of the law for one second, a huge body of law exists around who owns things and ownership and the evidence around ownership impacts so many different companies, bodies, institutions of one sort or another. Financial services are going to be disrupted enormously by the area because banks move things around the world and blockchain is a common system that they can all work to. And I'm really excited about smart contracts, auto-enforcing contracts that will operate on the blockchain. For more from Richard, check out his regular posts on techcitynews.com. UK Digital Challenger Bank Atom is to use face and voice biometrics for secure login to their mobile banking. The Durham-based bank, which is due to launch in 2016, says the use of a biometric technology will end the misery associated with the complex layers of multiple password logins at traditional banks. To provide the biometric gateway, Atom has partnered with IT services company CSC. And finally, we asked Chris from Techstars about fintech predictions for 2016. For 2016 at Techstars, we see an increased use of biometric security in financial services. We've seen this in our applications. Increasingly, people are using face and voice recognition, but also the way you interact with your phone to actually determine that the phone is yours and reduce fraud and crime. The second prediction is an increasing use of blockchain business, especially people that are using uh, the blockchain to build out apps. Well, at Techstars, we have the benefit of having seen nearly 700 applicants from 77 countries, so we have a great perspective on what's happening within fintech globally. That's all for this episode. Join us in January for more fintech updates. Hope you have a lovely Christmas and New Year.